Anyone married to a snorer? <laughs> oh, God, and I tried. I tried to meditate. I tried to detach. I tried to say, thank you, God, for at least he's breathing. <laughs> And he had the sleep apnea thing too. So every night I was like, oh, it was like a cliffhanger. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> make a commitment, damn it. Are you living or are you dying? What's it gonna be? You know what else they make are those little zappers. Have you seen those? He, he would go to bed and he put his little bracelet on. It gives you a little shock when you stop snoring. Anyway, so he would set it to three, right? And as soon as he would fall asleep, which would be about three seconds, like Lori was talking about, what? What is that? It's like we can be in the middle of this huge emotional release with you guys, and it's like, you know, I just, I don't feel valued. I don't feel affirmed. I don't feel like you really love me when you don't come home for six years. No matter what you're crying about, in three seconds, he's out. It's like, I want to do that. What do you guys look putting yourself like in a chokehold or something? Anyway, so as soon as he would fall asleep, I would reach over and turn that thing over to like a hair trigger 10. <laughs> I'll tell you what, any loud vibrational noise under the covers would set that thing off. <laughs> Can't spell them all out for you.